everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video so excited for today tomorrow i am flying to orlando and i'm going off to disney world florida and i am so so excited for it like we booked it two weeks ago so this has come about just so spontaneously but I can't wait. I'm going to meet my brother out there and I'm going with my mum. We're only taking hand luggage because we're trying to do it as affordable as possible because we're only doing six nights at Disney. So I just felt like I didn't want to pay for a luggage bag because I think a, to take a full size luggage bag was going to cost me and my mum about £250 extra of our tick on our top of our ticket. And me and mum were like, well, I'd rather spend 250 quid on like nice food or experiences or something. I don't want to spend it on luggage. I'm not that bothered about what I wear really. So I've kind of organized everything around me um, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get it all in my luggage bag. You're also allowed, but we're flying with Virgin and with Virgin you're allowed like a small carry-on bag which can go in the overhead locker. And then you're also allowed what they call like a handbag. It has to contain handbag kind of things. Um, which I have this bag over here so I'm hoping to get away with it because I haven't used it, it's new and it arrived, I bought it from TikTok shop and when it arrived I was like oh that's quite big, it doesn't quite look like a handbag but we're going to go with it, that needs to fit under the seat in front of me um, and it will definitely do that but I just don't know how strict Virgin are going to be on like on what I can pack, it won't be a very long video because I'm just going to go through everything that I'm going to pack in there and then I'm going to pack my bags and then I'm going to vlog the whole trip so you can see what we get up to as well when we're actually in Disney World. So I hope you enjoy today's video. I wasn't quite sure how to film this so I do apologise in advance if like my bum is in the camera or anything like that because I don't really know how I'm going to do this like without me getting in the way. When I'm packing a bigger suitcase I normally use little packing bags and I love using them for a big case. But for this case, I'm not going to use them because actually one of them is quite big anyway and I think it would just take up the whole case. So I'm just going to pack very tightly in here and I'm going to aim to put all of the clothes in this one. And then in this bag, the one that I got from the TikTok shop, which is kind of like my handbag, um, I'm going to pack all of my beauty stuff. So like my like curlers and my makeup and skincare is all going to go in this bag here so i'm going to put this all in here so that uh, when i'm on the plane i can easily get hold of it because it's a 10 hour flight we are flying from heathrow so um, i do like to do a whole skincare regime i like to put a face mask on so i want everything easily accessible in here so this bag has this compartment here which is quite a nice side and then underneath it has this kind of like shoe compartment where i'm hoping to squeeze my cowboy boots in there and I'm hoping nobody will notice. I'm going to start by packing this side and then we'll go into this side. So I folded my knickers up as small as possible, squashing them in the corner there. Then I have plenty of pairs of socks. I'm actually going to wear one of these to the airport so I'll keep them out. So those are like trainer socks and then because I'm taking my cowboy boots I do need nice thick socks that I normally wear with my cowboy boots so they need to go in as well but they're all nice and squishy and then next up I have this very cool product to show you this section of the video is actually sponsored by Magic Bra and this is like the coolest thing ever it's basically a front fastening bra but it gives you like an instant cleavage and it's also completely seamless inside the cups are like shaped beautifully I will insert try on clips on the screen now so you can see exactly how this bra looks like on but I love it because it is seamless it fits me beautifully it gives me a nice cleavage because as we know I don't have the biggest pair of boobs so it's nice to have a little bit of a cleavage in a pretty top and the fact that it's front fastening is lovely it's something really different and you notice when you put it on as soon as you pull it around the front it kind of pulls your boobs in together and although I do have smaller boobs I really feel like this bra would be amazing for ladies with bigger boobs because you guys still have cleavages because you've got bigger boobs but you do want your boobs to be kind of like up supported and with a cleavage so I feel like this bra is going to do it for you and it's going to offer you all the lovely support around the back as well like it's not going to dig in you've not got thin straps anywhere everything is seamless but yet you're going to be given these beautiful lovely lifted boobs and it feels very supportive because I'm working with magic bra they have given me a discount code to share with you guys which is rosy 20 and that will get you 20% off and of course I will leave the bra link in the description box below so that is going straight in my bag i'm not going to take the packaging obviously because we don't want to waste any space and then i have this other bralette here that i'm taking which i'm going to pop that there and that has some seamless shorts that match with it which i thought would be quite good to wear 
around Disney if it's hot. I love wearing these uh, nice thick crops. These are from Amazon. So I've got uh, a beige one of them to take and then I'm also gonna be wearing uh, my black one. Then I just have two tops, which are exactly the same as one that I'm wearing, but black. These are just like my favorite go-to tops. So like, sort of semi-cropped t-shirt with long sleeves. I like wearing these just with anything really. They'll go with shorts, skirt, jeans. They just, they're easy to wear, comfortable, and I'm kind of like covered up. It's a little bit chilly. I think it's due to be about 20 degrees out there. At the moment, I think it's 28, but a bit like stormy. So it's quite nice that it's gonna drop to about 20, which I think is good for walking around, you know, a theme park. You don't want it to be like boiling hot. Well, there are water parks there and I just don't know I don't know whether we're gonna do the water parks or not. We'll see when we get there. I am gonna bring my swimsuit, which actually I'll pack that now. I'm just bringing my black Machino swimsuit. I love this one so much. It's kind of like my go-to swimsuit. So I'm gonna take that. And then I just have this little skirt that's gonna go with it. It's like a crochet skirt. So that makes quite a nice outfit. So if we do go, then I am ready. This bag has to weigh 10 kilograms. So I do need to be careful what I pack. I don't have a weighing thing. But I might pop a few clothes in my hat, in my under the seat bag as well, just to take away some of that weight. So I think next up in this section, I'm going to put my pajamas in. That's just a pair of pajamas there. Cake and squash in there. And then here I have the shorts I was telling you about a minute ago. These are just really nice. They look tiny, but they actually like stretch. They're skims shorts. And these I think will be really nice for just walking around the park. The most annoying thing is, which is probably TMI. But unfortunately, it is going to be my time of the month. I'm literally due to be coming on tomorrow, which is the day that we fly. So that will definitely happen on the flight. Uh, so yeah, I've had to kind of consider that a little bit as well, which how annoying is that? Like on the flight plus going to a theme park, not ideal. But anyway, we're going, so it's fine. So I have those, which are quite nice and supportive. And then I just have this pair of brave white shorts. <laughs> Um, but I love these shorts so much. Like I wore these all of last summer. They're just really nice, high-waisted, but kind of long down the leg. Um, and they fit really nicely. They're comfortable, don't dig in. So I'm gonna take a pair of those. And I just have this nice pair of beige, high-waisted, straight leg jeans, which will go with everything else that I've packed. So depending on the weather, outfits are gonna be shorts and those t-shirts, um, or jeans and those t-shirts really. Um, and then I've just got a couple of sort of warmer pieces of clothing. I have this little pink cardigan here, which is really cute. It's actually brand new, this is from Shein. Um, and it's so nice and soft. I thought if it is a little bit chilly, a little bit breezy, it'll be lovely just to wear this and it will go with the trousers and the shorts. And then I have another kind of cropped jumpery type thing that's just gonna be a little bit warmer if it is colder during the day. It's just like a ribbed jumper, like my usual kind of thing that I wear in there. And then we have a few evening pieces that I hope I get to wear. I don't really know what the plan's gonna be because I, we're gonna be in the park all day. I don't know if we then come back to our apartment and like get changed and stuff and then go back in and go out for dinner. I don't really know how it's gonna work, but I'm hoping we might do that on one evening, like come back and get all dressed up and go for dinner, um, or maybe two evenings. So I have bought some outfits for that. Um, I've also packed this little skirt. I'm really packing this really because it's just so small that I can just shove this in and it's not going to really add any weight but it kind of does give me a whole other outfit if I do fancy wearing something a little bit different. So that's just a little silky uh, mini skirt there so I'm just going to pop that on there. Then I have this gorgeous dress that I have bought new for this trip. Do you know when we booked the trip I was like like we're just going last minute, nothing new, get everything out of the cupboard that you've already got and don't pack new stuff. But I just can't help it. You're just like, oh my God, I'm going on holiday, I need outfits. And yeah, this was one of those things that I did buy new because I just fell in love with it. Um, it's from a UK brand actually, like quite a small brand. Uh, they're called Little Lies. I think they're based in Scotland and they have some gorgeous, gorgeous clothing on there. Like I just absolutely love it. Some of it's slightly alternative, but it's just beautiful. And um, yeah, it's lovely fitting, it's lovely made stuff. This is the dress that I went for. So it's kind of like, um, I suppose a bit like a skater style dress. It's very fitted here. And then it has these long sleeves and they're just completely flared. So it has kind of a bit of like a 70s vibe to it. And it's black with a sort of greeny gold glitter. So when you're actually wearing it, it almost looks like olive green. And then at the back, it's really hard to show you, but I mean, when I, when I film the actual vlog of the holiday, you'll see me wearing all this stuff. Yeah, it just ties up at the back there and it has quite a low back on it. And then also I have this dress here, 
which is from Shein and I just thought this is like the most Disney World type of dress ever so I'm taking it with me it is quite a chunky thing to take with me but it's not it's not that heavy but it is just quite a big item but I just couldn't not take it with me I thought this with the cowboy boots is just like the perfect Disney outfit so yeah that one is also coming with me and then last up from the clothing is another item from that little lies place that I just showed you and it is this amazing velvet jacket it's like a kind of quite dressy going out jacket um, but I thought this was really cool because it's a very relaxed fit so I could actually wear this during the day if it was colder I could put it over one of my outfits and it kind of looks quite casual but because it has that velvet look to it it does look quite going out as well. So over that dress I showed you that's also from Little Lies, um, it looks really cool as an outfit with like the cowboy boots, this and the dress. Okay, so clothes are pretty much packed and now we're gonna move on to all of this like skincare, hair care and stuff like that. Oh, these bits actually, no, these are heavy, so these are gonna go in this bag. So I've just got my light here, which I use for filming and then I've just got a little tripod here that I'm gonna take with me. I've got my adapter here. These are so good because you've got like the normal plug socket and then you have all of these USBs as well and then even the USB-C there as well. So I always just take one of these with me. And then I always take a, an extension with me as well so that obviously I've got more plugs while I'm in the apartment. Can all just go, I think I need to charge that actually so I'm gonna leave that out. But this can all just go in the bottom of this bag because it's like heavy and this one doesn't get weighed. And this is gonna be the only handbag that I'm taking with me. I picked this up from TK Maxx the other day because I didn't have any really small bags that are just gonna be fine to carry around a theme park. This one's pretty cool. You have the front piece here that the foam fits in and then in here you have, it comes with another strap actually. I can't decide which strap I'm gonna use. Um, but inside then it's like a purse but also I have room for just put maybe like face powder and then a lipstick or something for the day. So this was a really handy item that I found in TK Maxx. I'm gonna pop these curlers in this bag. These are my GHD ones. Uh, just got some wipes for on the plane. They can go in there. My pads, I'll just take off that bit of packaging. Just take them like that. Keep them in there. And then this is gonna be my skincare and makeup bag. So in here, I am just gonna put hair care stuff in this little zip bit up here. So I'm gonna put some hair bands. Oop. And a little clip there. Then I do have a headband, oh that fits in nicely. And then look at this, oh my goodness. So my favorite concealer is the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer from the Siam, which is a Korean brand. And they do these little mini concealers. I think they came free with some other concealers. Um, but yeah, look at that. I mean, I don't even know if you can tell how freaking tiny that is. But that is so handy because that is going to do me well for six days away. I feel like that's just about enough to last me. So that is going to go in here and it doesn't take up much space at all because of course I'm taking hand luggage only so I can only take with liquids one of those little clear small bags. Um, so when I get to the airport I have to take all the little bits out and put them into a clear bag. But I won't have that much because I'm going to put all of my products into these in a minute. I picked up this yesterday which is the Fenty Skin cocoa cleanser and this is a soothing all over cleansing bar it's actually for your face and body but i did pick up uh, another cleanser from them as well just because i absolutely love this cleanser so much it's the fenty skin total cleanser remove it all cleanser and it's just it's really really good so i'm taking that as well but this one i'm going to use for my body cleanser and for shaving only because it's not going to count towards liquids because it's solid that is not a liquid whereas normally I'd have to take like a body wash with me which is going to fill up my liquids so I felt like this soap was actually a really good idea and then I have these little mini perfumes I just love mini stuff so I usually have some kind of collection of mini stuff blooming bouquet from Miss Dior and then oh, I can't remember what this Dior one's called but you know, that is that usual deal. Once I've taken them two perfumes with me, I have a mini primer here from e.l.f. So that one can go in. These face masks, um, I just love doing face masks while I'm away. So I'm packing four. I think I'm gonna use these under eye ones on the way there on the flight. And then I think I'm gonna use this one on the way back on the flight. And then I'm gonna just bring two extras to maybe use during the week. I feel like I need them. So those can actually just go straight into this bag and then I have some more mini products here I have this mini toothpaste 
And then I have this mini wild deodorant, like how cool is this for traveling? Because again, this is solid, so it's not gonna count as a liquid and it's just tiny. And also this will fit into my little bag that I'm taking with me during the day. So I can top up deodorant while I'm out and about. And I picked this one up in the fresh cotton and sea salt scent. So that can go in. That's just my little face cloth, so that can go in there. The Fenty Skin Cleanser can go in. Obviously in the morning I've got to do my makeup and stuff, so I will be adding more makeup bits into this, but it's all just usually like powders and stuff, because I'm gonna sort all my liquids out now. I think I'm gonna zoom you guys in for this bit. So I have this really cool little set that is from Timu, and it has these squeezy bottles in it, which I'm gonna add in my shampoo and conditioner. And then I have all these other products, all these other ones here that I'm gonna to use to put my skincare in. And these are just little things that you kind of put it into there with. I'm gonna actually put some of my SPF in there as well, like my body SPF. So that will go into that one. I think I'm gonna be quite minimalistic with skincare. So I'm literally gonna take my Youth Bomb Retinol for nighttime. And then I have the Beautify Super Drops Brightening Niacinamide for daytime, I think that's literally just what I'm gonna take for my skincare because my SPF that I use for my face um, that has skincare reasons in it as well. And also this one is tinted, so this acts as like a kind of very thin foundation. I'm gonna take a little bit of my St. Moritz tanning spray because I just like to use this to just spray my face and anywhere on my body it's gonna go a bit patchy and I'm just gonna put that into this little spray bottle here. And then I have this body oil spray, which I love from Aveeno. This is a skin relief one, and it just really helps with my dry, itchy skin, so I don't wanna go without that. And I think I'm gonna pop that into this little pump bottle here. So let's just have a play around with this, um, pop some music on. <laughs> Clothes are all done and actually that's definitely less than 10 kilograms so I'm not worried about that bag at all. This is probably the bag that I'm worried about because I'm putting so much stuff in here um, that this is actually going to be quite heavy but I need to try and make it look like it's just a handbag. So I'm not going to finish packing this one just yet because I've just got to put a few makeup bits in here but that is pretty much full to the brim with all of the liquids here but I feel like it's not too much and it should fit in one of those bags quite nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just thought maybe it would be a little bit helpful um, to see how you can pack minimal stuff for a long haul holiday and you can save yourself loads of money like me and mum by doing this have saved ourselves 250 quid so yeah I feel like it's definitely worth it. I can't wait to share our Florida trip vlog with you so definitely keep an eye out for that on the channel so so excited. When this video goes up we will already be there we might have a few days left actually so if you have any recommendations for what to do in Disney World while we're there please leave me a comment down below but thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you're all doing very very well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.